All right. Welcome to the first day of 200-200 series. So you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, you know, I might have an idea of what this could be. You know, 200, I've heard, I've heard Sam talk about this 200 number a lot with, with the lifting. And you're right. The first part of the 200-200 series is going to be simply bulking up to 200 pounds, which right now I just weighed myself, but it's the end of the day. I'm sitting at about 190 pounds right now with, you know, my shoes on, my pants. I've been drinking water. I've been eating a lot of food. So I'd say I haven't weighed myself in the morning in, since Thanksgiving, so it could be varying pretty hard, but I'll have to check back tomorrow for day two. But I'd say probably like 184 pounds-ish what we're sitting at. And, you know, the bulk is going good. I've been bulking for like like three or four weeks now, just trying to eat a ton of food, you know, lift heavy weight. And in the end goal being 200 pounds. But the other part of this series, something more my own kind of spinoff on it, something that I like to do, is the golfing. You guys have already seen three golfing videos and probably are like, you know, why, why did he stop uploading for two months or whatever it was? It was just because right when I was making those three golf videos, you know, I, I liked doing them and it was really fun to, you know, kind of make them. But that whole month break, all of October, I didn't post one video because in our golf season, we, we had tournaments every weekend. So I just kind of I didn't want to focus on, you know, filming anything yet. I just kind of wanted to focus on getting through these tournaments, playing good, which I did. Like I had a good, good little first season and I'm excited. I'm excited for spring and you're going to see what goes in from a whole off season of golf be leading into the other 200. This 200 is going to be something called ball speed. So if you're a golfer, you know, you know what ball speed is. It's how fast the ball comes off of the face when you hit it. So if I have like my driver right now, getting to 200, that's going to be, you know, 200 mile per hour ball speed is debatably harder than becoming a 200 pound lifter. Cause I know, you know, tons and tons of people who are over 200 pounds and they've been lifting for a long time, but knowing golfers who have over 200 mile per hour ball speed, like that is, that is a pretty tough feat. And I hit the ball, you know, not saying I hit the ball super far, but I hit the ball pretty far, farther than, you know, some of my other, my pals or stuff like that. But, you know, it's hard. I think the highest ball speed I've ever gotten when, like, I'm really trying to kill it, I'm really warm, like I'm warmed up hitting, 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 trying to get the highest ball speed is like 190. But I've never really trained to become to like hit the ball really far and uh, I think it's just going to be a really kind of cool journey to do not just you know pushing the lifting but more so pushing the golfing forward in a in a different way that I never have before so I think it's going to be a really cool series kind of take it day by day I'll show you some more golf stuff more technique and more swinging but you're probably going to be wondering in the video, you know, why are we starting with lifting? Because I went to go practice today and I'm like, all right, I'm, you know, it's time to fire up the, the filming and like start the, the 200 series. I left my tripod in my room. I get up there. I thought it was like going to be in the golf, in the golf room, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video, kind of where like our facilities and kind of where I'll be practicing for, you know, a little bit. And what, like, it's like a golf simulator. So I won't be outside playing in the friggin' Ohio cold. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, we're going to go hit chest, tries, and shoulders. A little, little bit of tries and shoulders, mostly focused on chest. And then we'll go check out the golf room. I'll probably swing a little bit, you know, just to show you guys around and how it's going to work. But, you know, I think this is going to be a cool golf-focused series while also, you know, chime in the lifting because a lot of the golfers, they're not that big of dudes. So hopefully I become a staple.
for these guys to you know start pushing more weight because everybody should be pushing weight but I'm gonna finish this ice pop take some pre-workout and head over to the school gym and uh, we'll jump right into chest so let's get into it all right so pretty much this is what we're gonna be working with this is the gym over there this is where we're gonna be at we're in the school gym today and we got the the bench set up but kind of just want to warm up before so just gonna try and get the triceps warm get your shoulders warm and that'll be that So starting up on the incline bench, I've already warmed up my triceps and my shoulders and a little bit of my chest. So now we're just gonna do like, you know, three reps, just kind of getting up the weight until I feel fully warm. And then we'll do the one big set, try to get like eight to 12, pretty much like to failure of the most weight I can do when I'm the freshest. And then we'll go down from there. But in the meantime, just warming up. So <laughs> we're still just hitting all the warm-up reps, but this is already pretty funny looking back at that one clip. I don't know, it's just funny seeing myself on camera still. But as much as I'm gonna get comfortable with it, I'm sure you guys will get comfortable with it too. So let's just keep warming up. You know, this, this bench is kind of like the rungs, it kind of doesn't let me slide it back and forth. And I always kind of want to like roll it forward before I start, but I guess not today. All right. You know. <laughs> so. Mark. That's pretty funny. I just got, I just got interrupted by one of my buddies coming in, because I've been telling everyone that I'm gonna start the, the video making, but finally he came in and he saw it in action, so I was happy. But still run up, going from 135 to 155 to 175, and then typically I want to work up to 205 to try and be the top set. So, trying this warm up out. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Whew. So, typically, when I would be warming up, I would go from the 135 to the I don't know, 10 and a 5, and then a 25, and then the 25 and a 10 like I have on now, so the 205, but I don't know, I wasn't really thinking too much, and did a, a 15 pound jump on each side, so hopefully this isn't too, too heavy, but I feel just as warm as I would have been any other time, so definitely looking for like six reps of the 205, that'd be pretty badass.
Oh my goodness. That was, let's just say that was a learning curve. Because one, I could have maybe warmed up a little bit better. And two, I could have got a spotter. Because that shit was fucking annoying. To roll that off, oh Jesus. But I could have used the sand method and just fucking threw it off. But I'm not experienced with that yet, so. Whatever, two two forty five for five or two oh five four five. That's not that bad for me, but whatever. Not not thrilled. But now we're gonna drop the weight down to drop the weight back down. Try and bust out some more before we move on. I was fucking hoping that was going up because I was not about to roll that shit back down. Oh my goodness. All right, let's keep that up. fucking drop. Okay. Just go down to the plate. Okay. Let's move on to something else. So two little, two little funny quirks of this machine that I found are that the handlebars are sticky in some way, which is a little off-putting. And then I forget the other one. I think it's, it's creaky a little bit, but we're gonna do you know three, four sets of this. And then we'll jump over, finish with some cable flies and then call it for chest. <sighs> yeah, it's creaky, wow. That feels pretty good. After looking over a few of these clips, I was feeling, I was feeling a little bit self-conscious about, you know, kind of talking to the camera and everything. And I went back and I watched Sam's bulk day one, and he wasn't as fluent as he is now. So I'm only thinking, only from now and doing this over and over again like he has, you'll get better. Just like, you know, anything else that you'll do. But in the meantime, let's hit this set.
But yeah, what I was saying before the set is you're not going to be perfect right away. Even if, you know, you're trying this at home, trying to do these videos, it's not easy, you know. I'm, I was freaking walking up here being like, uh, you know, I, I'll do it another day. I don't want to do it today. I'm too scared to talk to, to the camera. But really, I'm just talking to people who I hope are just supporting me. So I hope that's the case. I mean, these look crazy. I like never even do this machine. It feels super good. Jeez. Got the chest press out of the way. Now I'm gonna do some flies. I feel like I'm gonna move it down just one more. But I'm really just trying to burn the hell out of these and just finish with a big squeeze. Let's go check out the golf room. All right. Actually, let me go get, let me go get a bag. Let me go get my clubs. So this, this would be more of the forte for Mark Sulik. So, you know, this is our golf room. This is what I have at school. So we've got, you know, the bay here, two bays over there. And then in this other room, you know, we've got the putting green, all of our, you know, champion stuff. <clears throat> but this is where a lot of the magic happens in the winter. Let me prop this up for you. Um, there we go. But pretty much, you know, this thing right here, the, the GC quad, it's gonna be picking up everything I do. So like when I hit the ball, <clears throat> it would be the same as if I'm just hitting into a range, which makes it really good for when it's friggin' cold and snowing outside. But I think this is gonna be a really good series. So let me, actually this isn't even connected right now, but for example, it gives you back all the data that pops up on this. So let me just, I'll just chip one. It's not gonna come up on the screen because the two aren't connected, but let me see if it pulls up the data. Okay, so look this way. You can see, oh, it just popped away. But typically on this little screen, there we go. In this corner, speed, it says 47.4. So that's how fast the ball came off of the club face. So how fast, like I hit it, it's going 47 miles per hour. So during this whole excursion of trying to hit the ball harder, trying to swing it faster, my ball speed is gonna go up along with like the weight while you're lifting weights, things like that. Let me make sure this is still level. But 
This is pretty much where all the work will get done this winter of indoor golf, but pretty much this is where all the indoor, you know, practice goes down over winter and you can play courses on this. So at the beginning of a lot of these 200, 200 videos, I'll be, I'll be practicing. I'll show you like what technique I'll be working on in my swing and then we'll do some speed training and then maybe like play a course and then we'll go hit chest or we'll go hit you know, lift whatever, do whatever I'm going to do on that day, but mixing both up with the golf and the lifting. In regards to today's chest day, I would say it went okay. You know, the beginning, I don't know, the 205, usually that's about like the heaviest I can go, try and get it for like six, seven, eight reps, but only, I think it was five today and like didn't even really get the six one up. You know, that could be for many reasons of things. I didn't eat enough or I didn't sleep good enough, didn't warm up good enough, but whatever. We still pushed it to the limit of what I had today. And then the drop sets were good, chest press machine was good, and then the flies were friggin' killer in the back. But, you know, you might have noticed I was a little, like, tentative with talking. I was friggin' nervous. I mean, there were... There were five people in the gym when I was in there and I was still like, oh geez, like, you know, this dude's looking at me over here. Like, what, I wonder what, if he's thinking I'm a dumbass for talking to my phone, but whatever. I could, I could, I'll get more comfortable with it for sure. Just got to give it a little bit of time. And it's also, it's easier to talk about things that you know, you're just not worried about them and then they just flow really easy. Like the golf. You know, I could talk about the golf on and on days over, but the lifting, you know, and then like people looking at you, you're like, oh, geez, like all these people are looking at me, but I still got in. I still crushed the workout and I still filmed it for you guys. So I was happy I did that. I've been yapping saying I've been going to do this forever. So I'm glad I finally did. But tomorrow, hopefully we'll film some more practice, film back later on, and then, you know, we'll see how this goes, but I'm excited to kick off the 200-200 the series, and I'm, I'm excited for you guys to tune in. So I will see you in the next one.